Hi Virgos, Coach Nayla Latrice here to give you all your messages. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you clicked onto this video, uh, if this video has found you in any type of way, there is definitely a message in here for you. You guys can book your uh, coaching down below, which it does include a read, or you can book your reading separately uh, down in the description bar. So what I heard for you all um, is... I I heard unforgettable so uh, Virgos you all are unforgettable but the kicker is I heard it to uh, I was hearing unforgettable but, but that's uh, Jamie Foxx unpredictable so that's the tune and the energy that was coming in so I feel like that's the, the a message in itself the because that's the tune um, unpredictable we about to do something we never done before so it's like you're about to do something unpredictable you're about to um do something you've never done before okay um it's like you're, you're 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 about to do something that's gonna make people never forget you you're gonna do something that's going to make you unforgettable um but it could be something that's unpredictable okay people cannot predict your next move virgo um sometimes you don't even know your next move virgo um until so you get the download so it's like but you keep people guessing you're keeping people on on their toes and you're keeping people guessing for your next move or what you're going to be doing next we have the hanged men here so you could be seeing certain things from a different perspective you could be seeing your whole life from a different perspective okay happy virgo season baby okay happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday it's like happy birthday virgos yes you should be hype you should be feeling good you should be popping your collar baby they can't see me and it's like whatever you about to do it's like you about to just pop out and do something it's like you're very very again unpredictable and you're doing something unforgettable yeah, you're going to the drawing board is what I'm hearing. You have a lot of choices or I heard a lot of items. So you could be choosing or going between a lot of items. I'm hearing a personal shopper or an organizer. So you could have some. You could have an organizer or maybe you need to get an organizer. You have so many items to go through and it's like you need to get an organizer. This could be like for your home, for your clothing. You could be like a vlogger or something like that or a YouTuber. You know, just someone, you know, you, you, you got a lot going on and you, you know, maybe you need a nanny or some type of help like that some some type of hired help you just got a lot of options a lot of choices a lot of things that, that you got to work through or that you a lot of decisions that you got to make there could be some confusion as well because you got a lot of decisions or a lot of choices you you got to make yeah it could be about money you're making choices about money here you're choosing vendors you're choosing who you want to work with who you want to pay you could be paying bills and so forth as well. You're, you're, you're choosing this bill to pay and then you're choosing that bill. I see that as well here. Yeah, you're choosing the path to go forward. You're holding on to the, your future and you're letting your past go. You're just, it's like, you know, the world is limitless. It's like your options are, 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 are limitless here with this world here. I'm hearing World Wide Web. So you could be doing something on the internet, Googling or researching or something here. But again, I see a lot of choices, a lot of confusion. Some of you guys, some of you guys may feel like you have your head in the clouds or maybe you guys have your head in the clouds about something, about this money here or something. You could be dreaming about something, dreaming about stability, dreaming about this money. This is you, Virgo, with this King of Pentacles. Here you are. It's like you coming out out the gate with this big bag here. It's like whatever you're doing, you're doing big with this King of Pentacles, with the path that you're moving on. It's like you ain't playing no games. You're being very serious at this time. It's like you got your sword up. Some of you guys could be having like um, um, paperwork and things you got to sign and documents and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like you're moving very strategic during this time is what I see as well. Yeah, with the way you move forward. I'm trying to tell you, whatever your plan is or however you're moving forward, for sure moving forward after some type of ending or ending something. Could have been with the Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, I see you definitely being very strategic. Let's get one more. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. Yeah, you got some people paying attention or watching you. I also see you doing some type of research so you know how to do something. It's like you're trying to make something perfect here, Virgo. Yeah, I see you holding on to your money very tightly or you're you're looking at what you want to do with your money. Yeah, look at him. 
He's looking at his money. He's looking at his coin. His eye is in the direction of his coin. And he's trying to make a decision like how he wants to spend some type of money. So you can have a lot of money here and you're trying to decide how to spend it. Yeah, look at this. We got this Ace of Cups here. And that's why you're being very strategic in how you move. Because you, it's like you don't want... It's like... You don't want to fumble the bag, so to speak. You you want to make sure that you're that you're that you're a good steward of the blessings that 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 you have here. Okay, we have Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, whatever you've been working at is paying off, or it's paid off. But I see you working. You could be working a lot of hours. Let's see. Great Spirit, what messages do you have? This is for Virgo. Let's get one more in regards to this message here. Let's get one more. What's the message that you want to tell Virgo? Okay. Look, you're moving forward. You, you may not know exactly how you're moving forward. You may feel like it's dark for some of you guys or, again, something you can't see. But you are moving forward in the right direction. But I just want one. Let's just get one for Virgos. Thank you, Great Spirit. Let's just get one here for Virgos. This is for Virgos. Can we just get one for Virgos, Great Spirit? It's like maybe you feel like something can be taking a long time. Something may feel like it's stressing you, closing out some type of cycle, moving forward. Maybe you feel like you're blocked from moving forward or like you were blocked from moving forward with something. Or this could be energy around you. But I definitely see some type of forward movement. But I also see some type of stress or something going on. There's a lot of swords that's been wanting to come out. People could be trying to, people may sense that you're doing something and that you, that you know, you got something here that you're focused on this money or something like that. And it's like people could be trying to, you know, come into your life or trying to figure out how they can be a part of your energy as well because you're attracting a lot. What's up with all two? Something is about two. Something, it keeps wanting to come out in twos. I'm going to go ahead and take this because I ain't about to keep shuffling and so forth, Virgos. It's like, dang, but something that you're doing with your work is paying off. There's some type of surprise here, something with your emotions. Something's going to make you really happy. It could surprise you. You could surprise. It's like you're surprising yourself. Let's tap in. Virgo, this is the energy that wants to be here for you. So, Virgo, we're going to tap in. Oh. Do I want to use this one? Yeah, I'm going to use this one. But we do have the Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So, again, you're working hard. You could have been working on your emotions as well. Building up your emotional. Building up your intuition. Okay? We have the Six of Pentacles. So, it's like you're in the energy of receiving and giving. Why is the Seven of Cups here? But I do see some type of surprise here. Something unexpected. Again, it's like unpredictable. Seven of Cups. Why is Seven of Cups here? Why is Seven of Cups here for Virgo? Seven of Cups. Why is Seven of Cups here for Virgo? This is for Virgos. Seven of Cups. Well, dang. Some type of ending. Oh, I heard you got the hell out of Dodge, Virgo. So you could have left somebody confused because you ended something with them. Like, wait, what the what? And again, here's the swords energy. Something about the swords energy. But look, yeah, Virgo, it's like you packed your shit up and you left. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> Maybe that's what you did. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe you said, fuck this, it's Virgo season, I'm done with your bullshit. I don't know what this is, and you pack your shit up, and you open the door, and you got the fuck, it's like, pack your shit, and get the fuck out. That's what I'm picking up, like, what's her name, Bernadine, or Bernadette, or something like that, on, um, Waiting to Excel, Angela Bassett's character. Yeah, you got away from this conflict. Yeah, there was some type of conflict. Look, there was some type of conflict, Virgo, that you got out of. Some type of conflict was trying to come towards you or something like that. Because we saw all of that stress energy. Yeah, somebody was blocked from coming towards you. 
that's why we had that um that chariot and that that um the world card that was saying that somebody was blocked from moving forward and that's why they were stressing that nine of swords speaking of nine of swords look somebody is stressed that you got the hell out of dodge you and your ch children or you and your child it could have been an emergency situation because the way this came out, it's like it was a storm. You got out of the storm in the nick of time. Look, there was the storm. Somebody tried to have you in confusion or in some type of illusion here, Virgo. And you woke up and you got, you did, that's what you did unpredictable. And now they about to, you about to be unforgettable. Yeah, look, somebody could have been juggling you. Also, I see that you broke some type of change. You broke these devils. You broke out of this toxic situation. But yeah, somebody could have been juggling you. Okay, you were trying to do too much here. Had you stressed out? What's this King of Pentacles? And now you focus on the money. Again, that's why you got this money. You left and you trying to figure out how to use your money or something for some of you guys. Whatever situation, it doesn't have to be a relationship. You guys could have left a home or left your hometown or left a job or something. And you, it's like, okay, this is all the money I got. I, I quit. Now I got to focus on getting my business. Now you starting your business or something, Virgo. Give this video a thumbs up if it's resonating. You guys can also book your coaching or your readings down below. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Why is King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. That's the truth. You're seeking the truth. Woo! And you find it. And look. Woo! Virgo. It is so good that you left this behind. Or either if there's nothing you actually physically left behind, this is an energy. You put it into some type of energy that you've been in for a while. It's been very painful. And you said, uh-uh. I forgive the energy. I'm washing my hands of it. I'm tired of being in this energy. And you decided to, to move forward. And you're moving towards truth. You're move, That's what you're moving towards, the truth. Look at all this air energy. You can have air heavily in your chart. Or you could be an air sign cross-watching. Okay? Or uh, you could be dealing with an air sign. But it's like you're you're seeking your ten of pentacles. You're going after your ten of pentacles. You're building something. Again, this king of pentacles here. You're building your wealth, your legacy, a family. You want something real, solid, true. I'm hearing good life by Kanye West. Yeah, you're getting this justice. You're planning. You're, you're putting in a plan, a solid plan. And you're willing to do the work for it, Virgo. Whatever it takes, the inner work, the, the physical work, whatever you got to do here. Yeah, because you're, you're bringing in your own justice. You're making sure you get justice by the decisions that you're making, Virgo. You, you have clarity. It's like you're, you're going towards your happiness. And you're making sure that the situation gets balanced out. Yeah. By the action that you're taking. Yeah, it's like you're, you're sharp. You're very knowledgeable with this crown energy. I'm picking up Aquarius energy. You're very smart. Something with technology as well. You're seeking the truth about your money. You could be seeking your purpose. This truth, this truth about your purpose here and, and your money here and your business here. Something about the truth and clarity and a breakthrough. You're having a breakthrough with this money here. Yeah, you're going to be really happy, Virgo. You're going to be really happy. You're getting some type of communication about some type of money as well here. Look, Page of Pentacles. So whatever you're doing, it's like you could be reading or studying or doing something like that. Starting over with this page here. But you have a solid beginning that you're starting over with. And it's leading to this King of Pentacles. And again, the sun at the bottom. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords. You could um, be around plants as well. Planting a garden or planting new seeds. Yeah, some type of opportunity may present itself from some type of work you've done. You're getting some type of happy news about your career, some type of promotion or something. Why is Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords for Virgo. Seven of, okay. Look, you're built, I told you you're building this foundation and it's like people don't even know what you're doing. You're working behind the scenes. I heard underground. Underground Railroad is giving. Yeah, it's like you got, the, you got this bag, Virgo. Do you see this four of pentacles and this king of pentacles? This is you and you working. You got your emotions intact and you got your money intact. But it was all after leaving some type of situation or energy behind. It's like you got this money, but you're keeping it a secret, Virgo. You're man didn't I say you're focused on how to spend your money? You're managing your resources. Why is why is it? Didn't I say somebody got this money and they holding on to their money? Didn't I say that earlier? And here we got this four of pentacles. You're holding on to your money. You hold on to this money you got and people don't know. 
or something. But it's like people are starting to see. That's why you're doing something unforgettable or unpredictable. Because you building this house. Or you building a household or building this new life. It's so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. It's like you have peace and prosperity that's coming to you all the days of your life. And it's leaving other people that you left behind confused. they like, wait, what? Just yesterday, this is what it was. Look at this. Seven of Cups. You are leaving your enemies confused, Virgo. You are leaving your enemies confused. Make a choice with this four of, uh, uh, this four of uh, wands. This is about a house, a foundation. You got to make a choice about something here, Virgo. Getting clarity, but we see this here. So you're, you're, you're trying to get clarity. So, oh, somebody is sneaking behind the scenes trying to get some type of clarity about you and your household or you and your living situation or something. Somebody's being nosy here, Virgo. Somebody trying to peep into your life. Somebody's trying to do something sneaky and trying to look. They count your pockets, Virgo. Look, Virgo, they count, they always in the Virgo's pockets. They count your pockets. They count your money. You're seeing how much money you got. Tell them enough. You could be pro procrastinating on something. But yeah, there's a lot of options. Addictions here as well, it says. Too many options. There's too much going on in this household or something like that. But look, again, the chariot here. So something about the chariot and being able to move forward. What's the seven of cups? That's interesting that it came out here in, in this stage. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you working hard. It's repeat. You have a lot of work options. A lot of people wanting to work with you. Again, 88. Abundance here. Yeah, you're confused on some type of choice to make in, for your household or something like that. Or somebody's confused on how you're doing something. Yeah, somebody feels burdened about some type of new beginning. High priestess energy. Following your intuition. Knowing how something turns out. One more for the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here for the Seven of Swords? Because this is all something that's going on behind the scenes. You're making choices behind the scenes for yourself, for your job, for your work. Let's get one more for the Seven of Swords and Seven of Cups. We got 77 and 88 here. Yeah, look. We got this Page of Cups twice. Page of Cups, Page of Cups. You got some type of new love that could be coming towards you too, Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may want to build. Yeah, somebody admires you. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. 20 piece. Somebody, look, we got this King of Cups, Queen of Cups. I'm trying to tell you, Virgo, you got a, you get a happy ending. You get what you want. Mm-hmm. What's this Page of Cups here? What's this Page of Cups here? Woo! You don't see that this... This is a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes. There's some type of connection or relationship that your ancestors are bringing in. It's like, yeah, you're going to bump into this person, Virgo. Whoever this is, you're going to bump into them. You guys are an emotional match. But this is, again, after leaving something behind. You got your money. You got clarity. Again, somebody is in your energy. Could be trying to figure something out about you. Something that you do for work or something like that. You could be working on the low or building this household. Or you could be in this relationship on the low. And nobody knows. But I see a lot of refreshing energy here. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, somebody wants to come towards you, but it's like it's like some type of burden is here. So be be careful for what from for what offers you take. Look, we got the emperor here. Tell me more about this king of pentacles. Yeah, this king of pentacles is about to surprise you. Oh, I said king of pentacles. So it's definitely a king of pentacles here. This king of cups is about to surprise you. Is what I see. They could be offering you some type of new spark or new beginning. Is what I see. What's this King of Pentacles here? I see you're, you, you're a great emotional match within yourself as well, Virgo. Yeah, this person is coming at you very quickly here. Justice. This is your justice here. What's this Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This is for Virgo. Queen of Cups. Look, you're being offered this Ace of Wands. This new beginning because you're this Queen of Wands and you deserve it. Is what I'm picking up on here. Yeah, you're making a decision to move forward. And look, there goes the Queen of Cups with this Nine of Pentacles here. 
Somebody could have tried to, you know, backhand you or something around your money or something. You know, there could have been some type of misunderstandings around money or your mindset around money wasn't all the way there or something like that. But it's like, that's not the same no more. Things are different now or something like that. All right. It's like, look, we got, yes, people are watching. They see you. So, yeah, somebody could be watching and see you too and trying to figure out how to come in towards you. But for a lot of you, this is a brand new relationship that is coming in. And I feel like you are you have this whole new life. Or a whole new world. And it's like, again, it may even shock or surprise you. This truth is coming in. You're going to see it. This new beginning here. As you're closing or getting out this cycle here, Virgo. And I feel like a lot of things is happening behind the scene. As I feel like spirit is bringing you a new purpose, a new home. You're going to have a lot of decisions to make. You got a lot of uh, happy feelings in the air. A lot of happy feelings in the air. Yeah, because you're this high priestess. Yeah, a lot of things going on behind the scenes here. You don't see spirit working this behind the, the scene for you with these both of these pages of cups. This could be somebody younger than you as well, Virgo. Herbal healing medicine. So you're into herbal healing medicine is what I see. You could be researching some type of options and looking into how to mix different things as well. Yeah. So like any type of painful situations, it's like you're learning how to, you know, heal herbally or natural medicines and things. Wishcraft, light magic. It's like you're a magician here. You're working on your wishcraft. And manifesting. This is something you've manifested, Virgo. You could be reading and studying a lot. Dream messages. Yeah, you could be getting messages about a relationship. A table prepared in front of your enemies. The Divine Feminine read got that as well. You you can go watch that for my Divine Feminines. But yeah, dream, some type of dream message. Yeah, meditating with these dream messages. Have faith. Something you're calling in with money or a relationship is happening. Yeah, something about your beauty, skincare, makeup. You're very beautiful. You have a very beautiful heart as well. But yeah, it's like developing a beauty care, a beauty uh, skin, a beauty regimen, a skincare or makeup regimen or something like that. Tapping into that energy, Virgo. Or you're looking very beautiful. You're very, very beautiful. People think you're very beautiful. People see that your skin is glowing. You could be a makeup artist as well. Or you're just really great with makeup. This is for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, supernatural. No weapon forms. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, Virgo. It can't prosper, so they need to keep it moving. Yeah, you have supernatural um, beauty. You have supernatural assistance in the in the angelic realm, in the ethers, in the spiritual realm. You have supernatural uh, help. You have supernatural abilities, Virgo. One more, one or two more for Virgo. And I'm going to close this out. Virgo, you guys can give this video a thumbs up. You guys can book your readings down below as well. Or your coaching. Heaven on earth, Virgo. Overflow, abundance. Smish, a smile, bish, okay. Mirror work. Spiritual bath or shower. Heaven on earth. Yeah, you're experiencing heaven on earth because of the, the, some type of change you've created or you're doing something unpredictable and it's just shocking everyone. You're shocking everyone, Virgo. It's like, move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. That's what I'm hearing. It's like they getting out your way, Virgo. Yeah, you have plenty. You have more than enough, Virgo. All things are possible for she who believes, Virgo. So these are your messages. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.